Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on creating a new Google site uh, inside a domain account. As you can see, I'm at google.com and I am logged into my organizational domain and at the top, also in the black bar, I can get to my mail, my drive, calendars, and yes, there's Google Sites right there. Let's click on it. This should take us to our next screen that uh, if you have created a site before or have been invited to a site, you'll see it listed here. And there's our Create button. If you have not, you'll see a splash screen, but you'll also find that Create button as well. So let's click on Create and get started. There are really only a couple of steps to create a new site. So here we are in a area where we're going to be able to pick a blank template. And I do recommend that if you've never created a site before. But you can also browse the gallery for sites that have already been made, templates, and you can make them your own. Feel free to browse through the gallery. So the first thing we want to do is give a name to our site. So I'm just going to call this Tony Sample Site. And as you can see, it also generates a unique URL for the name of that site. That cannot be changed once you have that. However, the name of your site in this area can be changed later on. You can modify that. Let's scroll down and see what else we need to do before we create the site. We can select a theme at this time if you'd like. We can scroll down and take a look at some themes. But for right now, let's go ahead and just pick this iceberg theme. You can always come back and change the theme later on. Let me close that so we can see more things. So once I selected the theme, I do have more options. If I slide down, I have a couple of areas here. One's called a site category. If your district has not told you about site categories, you may want to leave this blank. What it does is create a tag for any site that's created with that tag or category and it's easy to find those sites organized in the background. So contact your district administrator, see if there's a site category. Otherwise, leave it blank. Also an opportunity to give a site description. These are optional, don't have to do it now, you can always do it later. Let's go ahead and close that down and see if there's anything else. No, well, that's about it. Name it, theme, more options. So now all we have to do is click on Create. And if no one has selected this name before, it should automatically create our site. Let's give it a moment here to do so. There we go. Our site is created. This is our website and we can begin working with this website. Up here we see our tools. Here is our edit page tool so we can begin immediately to edit this home page. We do have our create new pages so we can start adding pages to our site. We do have a more button which gives us a lot of tools, particularly working behind the scenes and managing the site. And something you may want to check right away is the sharing. And so if I hold over it, it does say it's private to me. If I click on it, it gives me options to immediately change the privacy of that site. So this is good. I like it private while I'm working on it for the first time. But if I want to, all I have to do is click on change. And now you can see I can change its vis visibility options with the touch of a mouse. Let's leave it there. Click on save and return back to our site. Another thing I like about domains is many of them often have little logos that they put up there, but we'll show you in other videos how to remove that logo and customize your site as well. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.